Watch it, ready? Go, oh, see ya! Oh my god! <laughs> Just took a little break. to my channel for those of you that are new welcome welcome to today's vlog so i'm like super happy and excited in this vlog because it's so cold out right now and when i say so cold it's so cold for us floridians and it's like a drastic like cold like yesterday it was bloody hot out and today it's in the 60s so i have long pants on i pulled out my loafers today i just got done drinking some hot tea on my porch so feeling very like fall like and also, this is my favorite time of the year from here on out till about March, April-ish is my favorite time ever to own horses in Florida. This is our prime time. It's not hard at all, well, I don't say at all, to do farm chores and work with the horses and things like that during our winter cold season. So I'm so pumped. So of course, the first thing I wanted to do today is um, I'm gonna clean the barn, do a little fall cleaning in here because it makes me really wanna be out here a lot more with the weather and it just feels really good. I'm excited, I wanna do some cleaning in here, maybe start a fire out back, just all of those things. Let's go ahead and get right into this vlog. I got a bunch to do in this vlog. It's probably gonna be a multi-day vlog uh, because I think this cold front will stay for a couple days. So we're gonna see what we can get done in these next couple days. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance for my post notification shout out. And when you subscribe, it really helps support my channel. All right, you guys, let's get right into this vlog. Another reason why the barn is always a mess. If you have chickens and you have a barn, try your best not to let your chickens ever discover the barn. Get out, buddy. Come on. Come on. Go on, rooster. Come on, dude. Get on out. You're so pretty. Oh, scurry, see ya. That was awfully dramatic. Bye. So Trigger's been in his stall a little bit more lately since the hurricane. So he is a little bit messier today because He's been the only one that's actually been having like issues from all the rain that we've been experiencing and all the wet ground, which he doesn't typically have in past years. But his like pastern, like fetlock area has been swelling a bit. Side note, I hate these big shavings. It makes my stalls look so much dirtier and they don't like decompose as quick. So I'm hating these big shavings. Total regret, cannot wait till we go through them. We still have like many bags of them. So obviously we have to use them and luckily they were discounted, but I cannot wait till we get through all these because boy, I wanna get back to my fine shavings. Trigger stall is all done. This is why I hate the big shavings because it took me like 20 times longer than what it would with the fine shavings because obviously I'm not trying to get rid of all the shavings, but it almost seems like every shaving gets disgusting. So had to throw out a bunch of shavings, but moving on from that, it's time to do cash at stall. I just let him out to be out of my way. So he's eating hay and I'm gonna get started on cleaning his stall. Cash's stall is all nice and cleaned and actually has shavings in it. And there he goes. And look at that goober. Why are you doing that? You're making more than us. Nothing is safe around here, you guys. If they have a chance to mess it up, they will. Ma'am, unless you wanna come out here and start doing the trash, I don't expect you to play with it. I just started grooming this up a little bit because I'm really getting bored of cleaning all these stalls out. So I'm thinking of just changing up what I'm doing for a minute and having a quick satisfaction moment of getting this a little bit cleaner. So I was cleaning Louis's stall and I forgot that I left the Dutch door open while I walked out of the stall. And he took it upon himself to go for a walk out here, which I definitely did not want him to do <laughs> because we haven't really like checked over this pasture that much. But since he's by himself, he shouldn't do anything crazy, I hope. The only thing I'm worried about, which is why I'm watching him right now, is there is a hole like right here where that tree is. He's being cautious of it though, so that's good. Now he's gonna go to high ground. Mm. Huh. 
found some grass in a dry spot. Good for him. <laughs> but yeah, that was a mistake. Oh well. Still working on stalls. This one is completely done. You know, caches is done. Triggers, I still haven't put shavings in. About to be done with this one. Look who came back. I had to entice him with some food though. There you go, buddy. Still haven't put his shavings in. <laughs> Guys, I was just complaining about my shavings and look what Mike brings me home. Oh, they're not even that fine. No, they're not. Oh no. But look how big this bag of shavings are. So, and these are free anyways, so it's fine. I guess that they're not as fine as I want them to be, but I think they're finer than the ones that we may have. They're not bad. They're definitely thicker, but- They're like all sizes. Again, it's fine. Oh, Looks they're good. Fine. They're not fine, yeah. <laughs> they're actually not fine, but this bag is really big. So we're gonna see how much this actually gets us. Whoa, okay, they are thinner than um, the ones that we were using. Just brought them in a new um, salt block because with the colder weather, to make sure that they are drinking enough water. So this fit there. So, Louie, meet your new salt block. Salt block, meet Louie. I kept hearing this noise Louie was making. And look at him go. Look at him go. He is really loving his salt block. <laughs> it's carrot time. Even though I just fed them, I just have carrots. I bought a huge bag of carrots, as you guys saw in my last video. Eat it, Trigger. And I've been loving giving them carrots. You're a good carrot boy. Oh! Carrot down. my fingers <laughs> all right all right all right all right well cash here you go have a carrot that's a good boy my little star nose all right eat it good now i have two left for when june and blaze come in which we're about to let them in all right let's see if we can get these guys to come in and not the goats and the donkey june Pass on. Go on. Go on. All right. The goats. The goats. Okay. Come on. Hurry up. Dinky, I'm sorry. No trespassing. <laughs> Dinky, I'll bring you a carrot. Guys, I just witnessed with my eyes the goat jump through that hole. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. I missed it on the camera though, but I cannot believe it just happened. We're gonna see if he's gonna do it again. Watch him, ready? Oh, see ya! Oh my God! <laughs> what in the world? Did you do that for? Now he's in jail. You're in jail, because you can't behave yourself in here. You can't just jump into a horse's stall like that. It's dangerous. <laughs> You're crazy, you want a carrot? Here, Willie, have a carrot. It's day two of this vlog. We are in the back pasture where we're about to go start our fire. We have a crowd. Louie's over there. They want to go in. And Cash is seeing what we have. Hi, buddy. Fire is starting. to get this go out to go uh, 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 uh go on girl go on to go into the back because we're gonna keep the goats back here while we work on this back pasture go 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 Minnie go good girl they have some fresh hay 
piggies. There you go, pigs. Happy. Gotta clean this out. So gross. Pigs are gross when they are in a confined space. Now I gotta wrestle with two roosters to get out. Get out. Go on. Go on. There you go. So dramatic. I got my pig food. Going over to feed these pigs. Mike has started over there. Fire kind of died out. We gotta work on that. I'm gonna actually just feed the pigs from this side right now. Hey guys. I brought them over a lot of food. Here you go, piggies. What's up, Jojo? We've got our chainsaws, and we're gonna start chopping up the trees. I'm gonna try to help him with one of the chainsaws, and we'll see how that goes, because I hate doing this type of stuff, but we'll see. So we're done with Outback and now we're gonna let June and Blaze out because they're supposed to be out today technically along with the goats and the donkey so that they can get some outside grazing time and then be on their normal schedule. You ready buddy? Open your door. Open your door, you can do it. Here, help me out. There you go. Nope, go, go, go. Good boy. with Cash. I'm going to pull him out of his stall and get started grooming him and then I'll probably do June and Blaze another day since they're out and I like that after I groom them they can go into their stalls and stay clean for at least the duration of their time in their stalls. I'm tying him up here under his stall because if I cross to him, there's too many shavings bags and things that he can mess with, so he will literally just tear it apart. So, having done this method in a while, where I just find with anything, and it'll be fun. So dirty, so I'm actually making him even dirtier. Can you guys see that? He's actually dappling out. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen this horse dapple out and he is dappling out. You can really pick it up on the camera more than you can in person. How cool. All right, well, let's continue on this side. Last thing I need to do for him is just 
brush his tail. He actually is not that dirty or as dirty as I thought he would be. So my hands aren't even like very dirty from this. Usually when they're really dirty, my hands will be like super dusty that they're almost like black in color, but they're just a little gray, so not too bad. It's a little trick if you're scared to stand behind a horse or if you don't trust the horse to, um, to brush their tail, which is obviously a common concern, especially if you're new around horses and such like that. Um, it's always really helpful to just brush their tail on the side of them, so staying away from the direct kick of their legs, and you can still brush their tail perfectly fine that way. Sometimes I just do that out of habit rather than standing behind them, and it's just more comfortable to just stand to the side of them, just like this. I think it makes them feel a little bit more comfortable too because they can actually see me a little bit better. If you're right behind them, they can't really see you the way that their eyes work. Okay, so his tail brushed out really good. He's not nearly as bad as I thought he was gonna be. So one done, and I'm hardly sweating, and like I said, my hands are hardly black. So I think I will do Louis next, because Trigger to me looks the dirtiest. Just took a little break and decided to sit on June. And she's just hanging out. Hopefully she doesn't go anywhere because I really don't want to move. So Trigger's pretty dirty. He looks like he has like dried sweat in areas and he loves to roll the most when he gets outside. So I'm actually going to give him a bath because he really looks like he needs a bath. And especially since wintertime is coming, it's really not like desirable to bathe them during wintertime because you wanna keep their oils intact. And in wintertime, it's just not ideal for you to do that. I don't know if it directly applies here in Florida since it doesn't get super cold but I still like to make sure they all get fresh baths before like full on winter time comes. So this is just the start of it. Um, the other horses will be getting all baths as well soon here and I'm sure you guys will see a video about it, but he just really needs one. So we're gonna go ahead and give him a bath now. So to bathe him today, I'm just using my Vetrosin Foam Care, the spray on. And basically you just turn him into an Appaloosa.
are you guys? You know I love to play this game. So put in the comments down below either the emoji, I usually do the same one, or just write out what I draw on Trigger's body. Let's see if I can do a good one. Are you guys, if you made it this far into the video, put in the comments down below what I drew on him. So cute, that was a pretty good one. And it's gone, just like that. All right, so I've scrubbed him up pretty good. I'm gonna go all the way down here to his legs. I'm really gonna work on this white part here on his white socks, because his socks were pretty dirty. Try to get him as clean as I can. Now this side's done. Now it's time to go to the other side and want this marinade on him just a little bit before I wash it off. He is officially completely sudsed up and getting clean. Now it is rinsing time. He really likes being rinsed, so this is usually his favorite part. Goofy. Just having a casual Sunday drink. <laughs> Is that enough? You want some more? He's telling you that's enough. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, now it's time to do his mane and tail. So I'm just using, ironically, the mane and tail shampoo and the conditioner because this is just like how I like to do things. So let's lather him up. He has a really nice mane, so I like to make sure it stays that way. So we're gonna let this marinate <laughs> and then we're gonna do the same thing to his tail. It smells so good. No, go away from me. <laughs> He's leaving me. I think I tickled him. Look at how sudsy we've got his tail. The tail always reminds me of like the grossest part since it drags on the ground so much and collects wigs and stuff. Okay, this is a ball of a tail. Now we're pretty much done with everything. We just need to rinse him off completely of his mane and tail still. So it's looking like it's running clear. So I think pretty much all the shampoo is out of his tail. Now it's time to get his mane completely washed out, but it's kind of hard sometimes with him because he likes to look back because he wants to drink my water that I have here. So I just put all this conditioner in his tail. Now it's time to really get this into his tail to make it nice and soft. It already feels so much smoother and I can kind of start to run my hand through it and I haven't even like brushed it yet, so it's doing good. So he is completely clean now in his stall, just shaking off the rest of it. I'm so happy that he got a bath. He loves getting baths, so I'm sure he loved that. And also, I'm sure he probably feels really good getting all that dirt, crusty sweat, and everything else off of him. He looks so good. Right, buddy? And then hopefully he'll dry soon before we have to let him out. Okay, now that all the horses are groomed and Trigger is bathed, we actually have someone coming to check out um, and purchase our stock trailer, so we're thinking about selling it well obviously more than thinking about because you might buy it um just because we never use it anymore um we actually never really have used it so we think that we probably could just use the money towards something different around here um because it's literally just sitting there all the time so we are considering selling it so someone is here actually right now mike's meeting with them to possibly sell the stock trailer well there it goes we have officially sold our stock trailer the stock trailer is officially gone. We only have our trailer now. Um, I do like not seeing it there. I even wish our trailer didn't even have to be there because it just looks more open, but pretty cool. Last thing that we have to do, and we're kind of in a rush, 
um, because the store is actually closing in like 25 minutes, but we'll make it there in time. Um, we have to go get horse feed. We ran out this morning um, and we don't have any more. And that's really kind of odd for us. We don't typically like run out anymore because we always usually have it. Um, but yeah, we need to go get some horse feed. The sun is about to set, so it looks really pretty. And um, our day will almost be done. We've made it to Tractor Supply with only 10 minutes to spare. So we're gonna go in there and get our stuff. We got just the amount that we could for tonight just because they didn't have their stock down on the ground. And then we're getting one bag of dog food, but we're gonna have to come back again this week because we need a lot more. All right, you guys, well, it is dark out. The weekend is officially over. We just have to do our night routine again and the rest of our night. So if you guys like coming along for this weekend with me, a nice fall feeling weekend, then make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, if it turns my post notifications, shout out to the shout out goes too. All right, you guys, we love you and we'll see you in the next one.